Hey guys, sorry it's a little dark in here at the moment, um, just the way the house is set up, and also, if you can see, my fan, the, uh, the mechanism isn't working, and so, uh, it's apparently getting fixed? I don't know. My dad took it out, and last I heard is they had it at the shop, but they had to get another part or something. Anyway, so that's all I know about that. But yeah, that's why it's so dark in here at the moment. Um, I'm just taking a little advantage of um, being the only one in the house at the moment because my dad's out of town and my mom is out having dinner with uh, friends first. However, I'm going to try not to make this super long just in case she comes, she comes back uh, relatively soon. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys first off. At my haircut, it's very short at the moment. It's growing out a little bit. It grows out really super fast, but um, I just got tired of it being long and uh, stuff. So I decided to get cut into a bob, and I really actually like it. Really like it. I've got a lot of compliments on it too, which is really neat. Um. So, first thing I should probably talk about, a um, little exciting thing, is, well, it doesn't have anything to do with me, but um, the fact that, um, as you guys might know, I do enjoy Taylor Swift's music. Um, I do enjoy a lot of her songs, and I've purchased some of her CDs in the past. Um, so I've been keeping up to date with her current, um, songs, her singles that she's been releasing. First off, Me, uh, which I really like, and, uh, the, the most recent one, which is You Need to Calm Down, uh, which I actually really kind of like because... Well, for several reasons. Number one, because a couple people that follow on YouTube are, are in this video. Um, but also because um, of something that happens in the middle, uh, kind of close to the end of the video. So this is a spoiler warning. If you guys haven't seen the Taylor Swift video, video yet, go watch it. Then come back. Okay? Okay. So, um, it's really kind of cute because it's very, um, LGBT plus, um, themed. There's a lot of people in there who are, who have come out as gay or, um, have been, you know, or themselves advocates and stuff and it's really pretty cool because the whole song is just basically about you know why are you getting so upset about this why are you getting so upset about people living their lives you know and kind of a back off haters kind of thing but a little bit different than shake it off um and so at the Toward the end of the video, it's really cute because there's like this massive food fight going on. There's like all this cake set up. Everybody's just grabbing handfuls and just kind of throwing it in. And it's hugely fun. Well, then here comes Taylor Swift and she's dressed like a carton of french fries. And when I first watched the video, I was like, why? <laughs> And then, all of a sudden, it pans across, and you see Katy Perry dress up like, dress up like a burger. And they see each other, and they come together, and it's like, it's really cute. 
and wholesome because it's like, because, you know, they had that big feud going on for like a while and Katie, I mean, Taylor wrote like bad blood about Katie apparently and, and all that and... You know, they weren't friends for a while, and I just think it's cute, because the whole song is, you know, you need to calm down, you're being too loud, and, you know, if it's like, forgive and forget, you know, accept each other's differences, and it was like, all of a sudden here comes this person who she was really good friends with, and, you know, fell out with, and now it's like she's back, and it was cute because, you know, after I get done reading the, watching the video, I was reading the comments, and somebody made the observation, Katie's dress has burger, Taylor is french fries, BFF, <laughs> and I was just like, oh, that's so cute. It was just adorable. It was just like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then, well, before, I can't remember if it was after me or before, or before me, but Kate Perry also had released a video called It's Never Really Over. And this video, a lot of people in the comments were like, oh, you know, it must be about her and Orlando Bloom or whoever she's with now. And and it was just, and I didn't think anything of it the first couple times I watched the video. And then after I watched You Need to Calm Down, I went back and watched It's Never Really Over and I'm like, is that about? Because <laughs> the whole premise of the video is that Katie goes to, like, this 70s-ish, like, it almost looks like a cult, but I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. But it's out in the middle of the country, and she's living in, like, this little house, and, you know, it's very basic, but... At the same time, they all wear the big flowy gauzy gowns and everything as they dance out in the field. And so, and there's other stuff that goes on. And I was just like, she's singing about Taylor. Especially since at the end of that video, she's walking back with her suitcase and everything. And she's apparently done what she needs to do and she's okay and then the van that's leading to the whatever it is goes by and all throughout the video she has a tattoo on her hand that's like half of a broken heart and then at the very end she turns around look at the bus and hanging out the side of the bus is the other half is a hand with the other half of the broken heart and so she, of course, immediately turns around, books it back, and then I'm like, and Taylor's video is set in, like, this trailer park thing. And, I mean, they're all, you know, they're, they're all different, eth, different, what the word is, different sexualities and stuff, but they're not... But they're still out in the middle of the country. It looks kind of similar to the background of Katie's video. So I'm like, is that supposed to be a sequel? You know, it's like, this is what happens after Katie comes back. You know. And, I don't know. I just, I just think it's cute. And... I really like it, and I just, I really like both Katy Perry and Taylor Swift, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, other than for me, 
I mean, things have been going kind of like normal. I've been going through a bunch of my stuff, cleaning out things and all that. And um, I found... I found my marriage certificate for when Keith and I got married. And so what I did was um, I sent one, I mailed one to Keith. And according to, because I put a tracking number on it and insurance and all that, and according to, I just checked it like a couple hours ago, and it's in England, but nothing's happened with it since yesterday, so I'm not really sure what's going on with it, if it's being processed over there, whatever, so, but... I'm very excited because once Keith gets that, um, he'll be able to submit that with the paperwork um, that goes with, you know, that goes with the marriage visa. And then uh, once that gets submitted, uh, according to what he has told me, they'll approve that part of it, his part, which is most of it. He's had to do most of, like, the paperwork and stuff. So, he gets, um, so that part will get approved first, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I don't see why not at this point, because we're officially married. We have the documentation. We have the, um, you know, and Keith Scott has, he's been working again full-time at the call center, so, um, so that's good, so they can't be like, he has to wait for so many months, though, because, you know, this is basically, yeah, um, but yeah, so, once that, um, once that gets submitted and approved, then somebody from there will be contacting me somehow, I assume by a letter, but it could be a phone call maybe, I don't know. Uh, not really sure yet, but anyway, they will be getting a hold of, hold of me, and somehow, and, you know, need some information from me. And then that's when I can put on there that I've, paid off my, uh, 25,000 student loan debt, and, um, and all that, so, I'm just hoping that it goes by quick, I'm just hoping that it's like, boom, 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 and it's done, and that I can pack really soon, and, you know, because I don't know if I'll be here for December this year. I'm kind of really hoping that I might get to England before my birthday. But, again, I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, so, but yeah. So there's that. Um, other than that, not really much to talk about. Work is just pretty much the same. Uh, although I had a little bit of an interesting situation the other, yesterday, well, what happened is, um, because Dad's out of town, and he had to take the car, he had to take the car that I knew normally take to, you know, go to work or go run errands or whatever, but he was like, he was like, you know, since I have to take the car, you know, and, you know, I don't normally get out of work until, like, 10.30. Sometimes it's after that, just depending on how long it takes. And Dad didn't want Mom staying up super late every 
signal, you know, every single day at work. So he was like, he was like, can you take off, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? And so, you know, can you request those days off? And so I put him in his paid time off request. And so when the new schedule came out, this past week's schedule, I noticed I was working on Monday, and it didn't say anything special as far as Tuesday and Wednesday, although I had them off, but it didn't have the specific, it has like a specific little thing that says if you take paid time off, and so I was, so I went to find my store manager, and I was like, I was like, I don't know if you knew this, but I really wanted to take Tuesday Wednesday off. And he was like, and he just, I don't know, he didn't really say anything. He kind of mumbled he'd fix it, but. And then yesterday, I, um, I went in, and I haven't been feeling that well because I caught some a little bug. And, it, I mean, it hasn't been terribly bad, but at the same time, it's just been kind of, oof. I've just been feeling kind of icky. And anyway, so yesterday, I go in after working on weekend, and I go in, and I'm like... And I'm like, I'm going to check and see if, because normally when we submit them in, normally it'll show up later as approved or declined or whatever. And so I just wanted to see. And uh, one my shift leads was in the office, the one who I really like and the one who actually treats me like a decent human being, um, was in, and I couldn't find the things. It was like they were completely gone from the little section that showed what I had. And so I was like, I can't find them. And so he was like, okay, let me go into my area and I'll see if I can find them. Well, he goes into it and he can see like all the requests. Well, apparently, nothing had been approved or denied. And so I was like, oh, really? So he sat there and went through all the things and, you know, and did his, did his thing. He approved all of them. Not just mine, but he approved everybody's. And so I was just like... I don't know. It just kind of blows my mind. It's just like... Sometimes I wonder if he even... If my store manager even knows how to be a store manager. But... Anyway. If I get into that too much, it'll turn into a proper blown out rant. And I don't want to do that. Um, But yeah. So basically... He was... So basically, I do have today and tomorrow off as paid time off. And so, and I got the other, hopefully, two days. I requested a couple days for later on in July when mom and dad are going on vacation. Figured I'd take a couple days off to just be like, you know, to actually go out and go Pokemon Go hunting. Because that's one thing I'm really unable to do. Um, which is nothing I could rant about, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah. So, basically, that's all taken care of, but at the same time, it just leaves me just being like, what? What were you thinking? Or were you thinking? Because I, I knew that our store manager had, was gone for about a week. And then he came back on a day that I was gone. 
And then the next day after that was when I knew that when the new schedule was up and I noticed I was scheduled to work on Monday, which I ended up working, by the way. And yeah, it's just like, oh my gosh, really guys? So that's my thing. That's where we're leaving it off for now. And yeah. So, but anyway, at least it got taken care of. And I'm very thankful that the other guy was there because he got it fixed. And, you know. And on the plus side, I'll get a full week's worth of wages. So it's like I work every single day in this week. So, hey, hey, more money. But yeah, other than that, it's just basic stuff. I'm just doing the same thing that I usually do. Um, but yeah, so not really much else to talk about. Just been getting ready to go, going through my stuff, um, throwing stuff away, getting stuff ready to donate, um, all that kind of thing. But yeah, so, um, so I hope you guys are having a good week. Um, I will hopefully be posting again very soon. Um, I'm pretty active on Twitter. Like I said, again, I'll try and figure out how to get my thing on there. And, uh, my handle on there. But you can also go look for Julie Massam on Twitter. And, uh, follow me on there too. So, um, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to call it a night, or, well, not night, but I'm going to get back to relaxing, trying to get over this crud that's still hanging on, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!